Hello, everybody. Last time we were here on Punch Out Wii, we uh, took out uh, Mr. San or in rematch against Mr. Sandman, who tried to take back our belt. We defeated him. We've left him in this sorrow state of, you know, cringing over. And now we have this little button here down below that says continue. So let's press. You will face a series of random challengers. Once you have lost three fights, your retirement will be accepted. Yes, that's right, people. Little Mac wants to retire. And we're going to open up a new mode here. Mac's Last Stand, which we'll see in a second. Or not in a second, because... This, this little mode here is called Mac's Last Stand, because we're going to be... Because we this will be... We're going to fight... It's, it's basically an endurance round. And they'll uh, randomly select one of the opponents that we fought in the title defense. And we'll basically fight that again and again until we lose three times. Now, you might be thinking here, oh, so basically I can just put the controller down and, you know, <laughs> and just leave it there for three fights and then, you know, which, no, you actually, there's something that's going to come up in a while. If you keep doing this, and if you, uh, that you don't want to lose three times, you want to try to get it up to a certain point, because you, there's actually something that you can unlock. Two things, technically. And as another little heads up, make sure that you are practiced with all the opponents in title defense, because, again, if you lose three times, the game, uh, and you can still do exhibition, but career mode ends, I should say. And if you lose three times... The ability to unlock... If you want another shot at unlocking the thing that I'm about to mention, or that you'll about, you're about to see, you, you'll have to start an entirely new save file just for that. Um, but the way this is going to work is that I'm just going to let you um, watch... Uh, I'll be doing... See you in a bit, because I'll be doing post-commentary up until I see the special thing. And because you've all seen these fights before, and... Yeah, you're gonna see you in a while. Um, have fun with my post commentary, future me. All right, so as you can see, um, this is a sped up version of what is happening <laughs> with my post commentary. Um, and I'm honestly not quite sure if uh, Glass Joe is like if you are destined to see Glass Joe in the first one. <laughs> wow, that was a bit of a dramatic way to put it, but um. So I always thought that these opponents were given to you randomly, but I think every time you uh, lose, Glass of Joe is going to be an opponent. Um, well, not during the third time, obviously, because that's when you lose forever. And uh, it's pretty much going as the same way now, uh, with uh, Glass of Joe being just hit him in the stomach. Uh, not much else to say. Um. And I don't know why I'm doing so badly, you know, with uh, the stuff. <laughs> and, uh, seems we're in an intermission. No. Well, intermission. I don't know if intermission is the right word for it. We're just staying in the ring more. Um, I, I, something I forgot to mention, I think, in uh, the original fight with Glass Joe was that... If you lose 100 times in this game, you'll actually get a, uh, you'll get headgear just like Glass Joe's, and, uh, this actually leaves you, um, I'm not, I, I don't, I definitely don't think it makes you invulnerable, but I, I think it, it makes you take, whenever you take a hit, it lessens the impact. And Glass Joe, as you can see, like, uh, during the first time we fought him, he only lost 99 times, but since we were at his 100th loss... That means he now has the headgear. I think that's actually the rules in Olympic boxing, if I'm not mistaken. But there's no guarantee that I'm not mistaken. <laughs> All 
Well, this actually happened pretty quickly. Um, I had to restart because something kind of interesting happened. And by the way, if you restart, you uh, like you can't actually when you pause, you can't restart it or just quit from there. But you can turn the Wii U, the Wii off, and uh, something happened in that time. That's right, everybody. Those who don't know, and I don't think that many of you, you can unlock Donkey Kong as a fight. Now, for those of you who are freaking out right now, don't worry. You can still unlock him for exhibition if you lose. Like, it doesn't matter if you win or lose. All you have to do is you, you know, have to just um, encounter him, basically. And whether you win or lose in Max Last Stand, he wi Donkey Kong will be fightable in exhibition mode. So, don't you worry there. And, uh... He's actually a pretty tricky opponent. I think on the level of Mr. Sandman, really. Um, as you can see, he generally... It's kind of like Don Flamenco, where he taunts you. I don't... There's actually a lot of tricks you can do with him. Like, like there's a lot of non-standard ways you can punch him. I do not know that much at the moment. I'd probably have to practice at him a bit more before I do him in Exhibition, where I, you know, show... I'll be more flashy and show off the uh, functions more often. Um, like, like the sort of special punches you can do when he comes to get and uh, some of it can be pretty hard to figure out too I think uh, and a lot of it just does kind of come down to habit for me so uh, um, uh, what else can I say about Donkey Kong very difficult but as I said you can you know encounter him whether you encounter him or even if you don't beat him, which I might, because, you know, obviously I've done this before. And, uh, this is why you do not want to lose more than three times. Uh, or, this is why you, do, you want to be, you know, practiced. Because he's not guaranteed to come out on the second try like it was for me. I, I got lucky. He could come out, like, nine opponents in, so you want to be practiced just to make sure. Because if you don't get him... Sorry, if you, lo if you lose three times before you see Donkey Kong you will not get a chance to redo. Um, well, you, you'll have to create another file to do that. And this, there is one more thing to unlock, by the way, after um, I'm finished with Donkey Kong. Uh, he is apparently, before this, had ze uh, even his exhibition uh, mode tile will say that this guy had zero wins and zero losses. Um, so this is his first boxing match, I guess. And, you know, even though a lot of people like Donkey Kong as a playable character, uh, sorry, as a fightable character, in fact, uh, Green Chump won when I was talking to him about this game. Literally, the only thing he knew about this game was that Donkey Kong was in it. And um, I actually would have preferred to see Princess Peach, because she was originally, um, uh, before they obvious, um, before they chose Donkey Kong, they actually wanted to do Princess Peach as the unlockable secret character, because... And, of course, the reason they didn't, you know, put her in is because different genders, so... Yeah, wouldn't have been all that uh, appropriate in this game. But, um, I actually would have kind of rather seen that. I mean, I know, obviously, a lot of people get mad at that for, you know, the... You know, hitting a woman, but... I, I don't know, it would have been kind of fun. I mean, in terms of, you know, obviously... Uh, I don't think there's really any unisex leagues in boxing, not quite sure. But, um, you know, considering that Little Max should be in, like, a bunch of different weight classes, like, he's way out of his weight class, definitely, in real-life boxing, so that's... I mean, I think realism is pretty much thrown out of the window here, guys. Um, that last attack I had done, by the way, was uh, pretty cryptic. That was one of the really cryptic parts about this. And I'm doing pretty good with Donkey Kong, I've noticed. I haven't gotten knocked down once yet. Especially since I'm under, under practiced. For those of you who are... Um, um, and for those of you who are wondering how, you know, um, in between... The, for those of you who are watching uh, this playlist in, like, the near... in the farther future, uh, which is probably very likely, considering I'm not a very pop... I'm not a very big YouTuber, so it's gonna happen... I mean, if you're a big YouTuber, probably most of your audience is going to view your video. Like, the, like the vast majority of your views are probably going to come, uh, immediate, are going to come, uh, sometime right after the video is made, but not with me, since I'm not very big. 
Um, for those of you wondering why I'm so under practice, despite having just done everything, when at the time I was doing this, I was also uploading the cutscenes of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games, and I would, because Gates to Infinity was coming out, I really wanted to focus pretty much just on Gates to Infinity, on uh, uploading the uh, Explorers of Sky cutscenes, and I didn't actually manage to get them all on time. I just, uh, I was able to film, I was able to basically record all of them, the main story before Gates Infinity came out, but that was it. I, was, I, didn't, I didn't even upload it all yet, so. But yeah, that was Donkey Kong, everyone, and, uh, there's something else to be unlocked, though, that you, and I still want to get after ten trap. I still want to get this certain benefit you have to find ten times. So, um, without further ado, just like with Glass Joe, I am going to go through the other eight fights and speed them up. So, and, uh, what's my post commentary? So, you will see me there. Thank you, past self. You could use a shave. But, yeah, um... Sorry if, like, the speeding up of the video is a bit ugly-looking, I guess to put it. Um, oh, my God, bald bull. Uh, so I, originally, I sped it up more, but, um, yeah, I hate... I do not like the fight with the second... The title defense fight with bald bull. It's just not fun, and, uh... Yeah, originally, I sped up this video, like, a uh, 400%, but now I'm just doing it 200%, because otherwise it looks kind of ugly. Um... And then, uh, so I'm sorry about that if it's, but this, but then of course it's going to be longer now, um, it's only twice as long, I mean, sorry, yeah, only sh twice as short, I'd say, with the, uh, and this is why of course the fight is so annoying with Bald Bull, I mean, seriously, and you know, like there's that, you don't really know if you're going to knock there's a good chance uh, when he, like, immediately after uh, he regains the health after he's about to be knocked down, if you do a star punch immediately after that happens, he still has enough health to withstand it. And there's so many times where I think he's, where he has just enough health to survive, and that intermission showed me quite um, bruised. Let's see. I have no idea why I'm not there, but. Um, and, uh, I have no idea why I lose stars so much during this, and, uh, during this whole time, I was, uh, like, I can't believe I got that wrong, that, uh, and, uh, keep on losing stars. As soon as I get a star, and he's low on health, he never gives me an opportunity to make him stun, or to stun him, make him stun. That's not, um, don't know why I'm pausing. Okay. Sorry about that. And, uh... That gave him, finally gave me a knockdown on him. I have two. And remember, if Little Mac gets knocked down three times throughout the course of the fight, even if it's not during just the one round, he will go down. Unless you, you know, mash the buttons. And... Look what I, yay! I mashed the buttons! Button mashing. Yeah, for the win. This is this is getting pretty annoying at this point, and I only have one more knockdown before he gets me out, and that's not ugh, it's not good. And uh, see, I lost this point, and I lost my belt to Ball Bull. Considering how much I hate this fight, the fact that I have to see him like again just to get my belt back, ugh. and I was already one loss too many, so. Ugh, so I was not that happy about it, you know. So yeah, we just lost our championship belt, um, and uh, this is what makes me think that you know the opponents aren't actually random because Glass Joe, you know, he is quite, you know. Why can't I speak right now? <laughs> I just suddenly stopped speaking. I have no idea why. What I was trying to say is that, you know, now that we're seeing him, um, it's, you know, it's, 
like, I, like we saw him after I got knocked down. Like, why can't I speak? Oh my god! <laughs> this is way too... Um... Ah, why can't I talk about why this is bad? Alright, I need to stop. I need to pause for a second and regather my thoughts. Yeah, I think you can see how good of a job I'm doing of that. I mean, holy crap. Um, I should be talking about these opponents. Uh, who do I have next? I don't remember. Um, come on, come on. Let's see. Oh, Piston Hondo. Yeah, um, sometimes when he bows, I notice that he actually looks, uh, he looks up at you while he does it sometimes when he's about to dodge. I'm told that that's actually him being a dick, so I'm told that you're not supposed to actually do that, and that's a sign of him being a dick, basically. And, uh, so, that's, so yeah, I don't, I don't feel as bad about, you know, hitting him now while he does that. He's not the nicest person, even though he seems kind of like it. Um, I have no idea why he uh, was just, like, number four in the major circuit. Um, so, well, I already mentioned that. Dag nabbit. Um, at least he looks kind of, uh... He looks kind of good in his title defense form, I'll say. I not say much about him. But, um... He's not that difficult, I can say that much. And, uh, that, that rush thing, that, that one where he just runs at you, I have no idea why I'm so bad at that. Because I can... For some reason, I can't knock him out anymore. Cause, well, I'll knock him down with that. I mean... And, uh... So, seriously. Is that number three? No. I thought that was number three. But, uh... That was basically, so I know, I forgot to mention that that was, uh, Donkey Kong Fight was the last time, and you're gonna see me play this game with live, with commentary at the same time, this is an exhibition, I'm just gonna be explaining everything, and for now this is just post-commentary, including the ending. Um, I'm not gonna be commentating on the ending, I'm just gonna leave it how it is, but, uh, this is, so that was a farewell, I guess, to the just regular commentary I was doing. Who else did I have next here? Let's see. Oh god, no, not again. That's what I was at least I was thinking that when I got this. Oh, sorry, when I got him again. This is my opportunity to take the belt back. And uh but yeah, I was not happy to see Bald Bull again. I mean, seriously. Like again, I hated this guy's fight so much. I mean honestly. Then, I got him, and I didn't know if three stars would knock him out in one hit, but yeah, it does, and I'm so glad that that happened, like, this is revenge, not just taking my belt, but for all the trouble you caused me, Bald Bull, that is sweet revenge, I'm sorry, but yes, I got revenge, I'm happy now, <laughs> and I completely curb stomped him, <laughs> that, that's my... That, I, I, that was the first time I discovered that, I, I'm just going to say. And I'm so glad I did, because, I mean, because it was awesome. And Svodka Drunkensky, well, that's who he's known as. He's, and that, that's what he's called in the arcade game, remember? It's not a nickname I made for him. This is That was his actual name, so that's what I'm calling him as. This fight was very nerve-wracking for me. Uh, it's only because if I mess up, the only way for me to... Um, beat him is for me to not mess up once in the first round. If I, because if, remember, uh, the more times you dodge, the more punches you can land each time. Uh, he's stunned. 
but see, but um, the more, <laughs> but um, if I if I get hit once, there's no chance to knock him out in the first round. And if and because the pattern changes the third time, I just have no idea how to do that. So I'm so glad I beat him, considering that he is another kind of irritating fight. I like him better. He's another opponent that I like better uh, in contender than in title defense, like Bald Bull. Um, I generally prefer most of the tile defense opponents to the contender, but those two are the exceptions. Anyway, who is this next guy again? I don't remember. Ah, Bald Bull! I remember the. This is the last time we're gonna see him, but honestly, why would they give me him? Give it that to me again, honestly. That is not. It's not kosher. And I, I didn't knock him out immediately this time either. At least I don't think I did. Did I? Oh, so why? Why punch out? Why? Uh, so I thought I'd get to see like a good amount of my favorite opponents and just watch them sped up here. But no. So far, it's just been the same one. Why, why are this? It should at least make some kind of measure to prevent you seeing the same ones again and again unless one has taken your title, in which case you have an opportunity to win it back. Uh, so where he was going to beat me again. If he does, did I s spoil? I mean, after I curb stomped him last time, I think it's pretty clear he, I, he wouldn't win. So unless that actually happened. I, I don't really think that was too bad of a spoiler, guys. Like... Mario saves the princess in a game. Oh my god, huge spoiler. Um, and oh, actually, I'm, I should probably mention that I'm going to do a multiplayer video. So I, this actually, that actually wasn't the last time you'll see me do... Uh, live commentary with this game, and then not post commentary. Um, that might come after everything, though, so you might have to wait a bit. As if you haven't waited enough already. But the, I, I think the uh, exhibition mode is going to be a bit quicker, since, you know, I'm just going to be showing each opponent in, in each video, and so they'll all be pretty short, as I just demonstrate as much as I possibly can. With... How do I describe it? Uh, and yeah, as you can see, I knock him out again. That wasn't like lead. That whole spoiling thing, that wasn't uh, trying to lead you up to anything that wasn't, you know, already. Like, I wasn't trying to give you a bit of a red herring so that you'd expect me to lose. No, this is. But hey, maybe you're, that maybe surprised you. Yay. See? Because you never know with me. Oh yeah, Don Flamenco. Uh, pretty easy guy. Well, the first time I fought him, he was not easy in either title defense or contender. He, especially in contender, for some reason I had so much trouble with him. Well, of course he's the champion, so big surprise. I'm having trouble with the champion of that uh, circuit. Um, of course, obviously now that I've practiced pretty much every opponent, it's quite easy. Because, you know, I was... I used to play this so much. Um, and hey, maybe me being under practice with this makes it a bit more tension-filled. So, who knows? That'll be quite... So who knows, you know? Did I just repeat the exact same thing verbatim twice? Uh, my brain, you know? This is why I should record videos at this hour. Actually, I have no idea what I'm saying. It's uh, about 11 o'clock where I am right now, uh, a.m. And um, for a lot of people, that's early. For me, it's actually not, because today I had to wake up early for something. And even, not, even barring that, I usually go to bed pretty early and wake up pretty early. So even then, it's not, not really an issue for me, personally, at all. Verbatim in any way, shape, or form. Without other things to tack on. <laughs> wow, filler. Did you fill it too much? 
I have no idea why I asked that. I'm probably going to regret it, asking that, because then I have to face criticism. Yeah. And, you know, of course, I can be a tough guy and say, oh, I don't really care about criticism, or, you know, or I'll, I'll only, I'll, I won't take any, or, I mean, obviously I'm going to use criticism to try and improve, obviously. I'm not going to just ignore it. I could be a tough guy and say that I don't feel, you know, um, I don't actually, that, that it doesn't resonate with me in any negative way at all, but, you know, it, uh, um, it does. But then again, when people say that it doesn't, uh, for others, I doubt it. So, this is the gist of what I was trying to say. It took me about, uh, five minutes, so pretty quickly for me, as far as my sentences go. Okay, I, I did say sentences correctly then. Not sentences. So, I deserve some kind of reward. But, um... This guy, uh... He, he, this fight, the fight gets pretty annoying after, uh... His wig falls off, as, as I said previously, you know. It's not... So I guess I should... That just, I guess it's a bit less annoying now that, you know, we're seeing it at double speed. And that's not exactly... By the way, I think that referee is supposed to be blind. I read that somewhere, but I don't really see any other promotional material that says he's blind. But I think he is the referee. Um, so we have the other mystery opponent. Um, I should probably take this time to min- Oh, I guess you do get Glass Joe sometimes when he's not, you know. But I I'm not sure if after, at the beginning of the Max Last Stand or after every loss. By the way, I'm trying to lose because, you know, I want Glass Joe. I want just the humor of- I know everyone does this, but I want just the humor of Glass Joe taking the championship title. So, that's why this is happening. Goodbye, Mac. That, that belt is gone forever. So yeah, I guess this technically is an instance of... This next part will technically be an instance of me not seeing him after loss. But I'm losing to Glass Joe, so I'm not... I'm still wondering if Glass Joe appears randomly or not. Well, obviously, he, he is part of the random choices they give you. And thankfully, they give me Disco Kid. Something different, finally! Holy God! Yeah, that's a... That's a... That's a, a phrase. Holy God. But, um... Yes, this this is getting so repetitive. I really don't. I really think that they should have had something different. I I kind of like the idea of him, this whole story part of him retiring, and you know leaving the champ and leaving you know his, just to go out with a bang. But seriously, like the way that from a gameplay standpoint, these are the same opponents I faced before. And you might say it's just more boring for me just because I'm so over-practiced. But th here's the thing. If I want to unlock the content, I kind of need to be practiced, right? Just to be safe. Because the because remember, that Donkey Kong thing that I got earlier, that doesn't always happen after every couple fights. I think the first time I did it, it was like the eighth or so fight that I got Donkey Kong. So I really should have had you unlock him in some other way. Shouldn't... Why can't I have just unlocked Donkey Kong, like, right after title defense? It'll give me a new mystery opponent as sort of a bonus for defending my title. Uh, and so Donkey Kong would have been a good bonus boss there, but seriously. Um, or hell, maybe, both Don maybe they could have included other opponents, too. I always wanted for this game. Um, I know I've been praising this game a lot. But there are some faults, mainly in that I think there could just could have been more of this game. I always wanted there to be like a me mode. Either, you know, you could play as a me, or, please, 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 it would have been nice if you could have actually fought against a me. And who knows, maybe they could have even had some kind of customized fighting style for uh, certain me's. Because so far, me's are only like the avatars for each of save files. And so it would have been nice to just have custom to have a, an opponent like that. At some point. And, um... If I remember where I'm going... And so, uh... There is one more thing to unlock after the ten fights, just to remind you. I, I think I've already mentioned that, though, so... 
Oh god, Soda Popinski again. Uh, as I said, if I mess up once on this fight, even though it's... Uh, I messed up. I forgot. Oh my god, no, no. Alright, I can still save... I could have still saved this. Well, I mean, of course, it's happened before, since this is post-commentary, but... But, um... Yeah, this is where I was starting to get really worried here, because I didn't get... I didn't win ten fights yet, or I was losing count, but, um... I, I wasn't sure I'd won ten fights by this point. And... This isn't. That wasn't really good. I was worried I might not, um... He become... He stops having a regular pattern after his third knockdown, I'm pretty sure. And of course he becomes quicker. That's... Kind of lame. And it, and it was at this one I was really starting to worry about... Because he might... I'd have to start up a new save file just for, uh this. And, um, as it turned out, I would actually need to start up a new save file for something else, because when I was filming, well, at this point, I decided to just restart my Wii, just, you know, sweep that under the rug, and, uh, just try again. Actually, I almost forgot that. But I did actually have to start up a new save file, because, believe it or not, I forgot to record the ending. I know, it was... Well, I, like, what, what, uh, not... Like, what I mean is... I played through the ending. I thought it was recording, but it actually wasn't. So I had to do another save file just for that. Um, but that's my fault, not the game's fault. And uh, um, at that point, I'm just really sorry that that happened. And as I said, this Max Last Stand part, from a story standpoint, it's kind of nice. But I really wish that they did... Uh, Obviously, I, I don't like the way they handled it. They could have done better. And at this point, this is where the game... This is... Um, unless you want... Because the only way to really stand a chance... Uh, to be certain to get the new content... Like, they either should have had it uh, as... You, you should have been able to unlock the extra content... Through some other means... Rather than Max Last Stand and Max Last Stand... Should have just been a thing where if you wanted to, you could just put the controller down. And this is champion mode. This is relevant. That's what after 10 fights you get. And so, at this point, I'm just going to put the controller down. There's no more reason for me to continue this. Um, and uh, I guess it would have been okay to have just an endurance round since, you know, that's what this is. But but they, they shouldn't have made it so that you have to unlock extra content via that. And there's no... There's nothing indicating that you need this to unlock, so... To unlock it, so... Yeah, for a new player... For a new player, someone who isn't really going on a guide and doesn't know anything about the game, it's pretty troublesome. But, hey, I guess... I guess you can say it went out with a bang, because I lost my belt to Glass Joe, and I decided to purposely lose against Von Kaiser, just the second weakest opponent, so... I guess I've ended this on a good note. And now, he... We're always a champion in Doc's book. I'm gonna shut up. So, despite my earlier complaints leading up to that, I actually think the ending was really good, and, uh, there's a reason a lot of people praise the ending like that. A lot of people like the ending, you know? And I have to agree, that was a really good way to end it. Him going off of the bang, you know, um... And this is probably gonna be the last time you're, um... Well, uh, for... No, 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 I'm doing multiplayer, so this isn't the last time, but this is the end of career mode. After this, um, you can still view all the opponents, weirdly enough, but, um, even though there's no real point, other than just displaying your scores, but, um, and you can still fight in exhibition mode, remember, so this isn't, um, but at this point, you know, you can't really, uh, do anything in career, 
Uh, the whole point of exhibition is, of course, to be able to rematch the opponents at your leisure. And you can rematch Donkey Kong again, which is great. And yeah, this ending. This ending actually happened uh, on a different file I used, as I said, so... I am uh, quite glad. This is one of my recreational uh, files, so... Yeah, I'm happy with that. And uh, I ended up completing the file, so I was uh, able to get this ending again, because I forgot to record, as I mentioned. So yeah, just another little funny story I have about this game. Um, and we see each opponent again. Um, I like all the uh, uh, the characters in Punch-Out. They're all uh, really good personalities. I just think that they're reused. <laughs> the fact that they're reused so much is a bit... It, it does make the game... Um, it, it is a bit jarring, I'll say. A bit not good. A bit bad. How they reuse that. But then again, if they ha I guess if I had to make the choice between having fewer good characters, like with a lot of personality, or instead, as opposed to having like perhaps a lot of rather eh characters, I suppose this would have been the better option. Um, don't really know why. All right, sorry. The uh, there's a bit of a skip there. Uh, things got kind of garbled. Garbled is that a word? That was a euphemism I heard once. One person used for the video getting kind of ruined. I have no idea how that happened, but sorry about that. And we get a nice little montage here. Goodbye, Doc Lewis. You're a great service to us. I am sad that... I I do regret the fact that I couldn't have bought your uh, side game. And of course, Little Mac, he was awesome in this game. So badass, in my opinion. Ha have a nice day, everybody. This is the end of the career mode, and uh, Exhibition will come out. At some point. <laughs> and that wasn't my real score, even. So And multiplayer. Y'all have a nice day. TSG, out.